welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to X-Pain 11 and with my tutorial series today. We're still with the A319 TOLIS and we're going to be looking at our approach ILS landing into Manchester. So the last two episodes we went through uh, startup, taxi, takeoff. Uh, we've just hit top of descent and we're very quickly going to be coming down again. So for any of you that don't know, this white arrow here, this is when your top of descent should be. So we'd have to make sure we go down to our steps at this point. Now the MacDo will still do a lot of a lot of work for you. Um, so what we do need to do is go into the performance page. I bring it up here, and we do need to look at this approach, uh, which I'm going to do in two seconds. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to start putting us down to the 3,000 mark that we'll need to be. Now I've brought up our chart here, and uh, here is the chart here, and. Basically, we know that it will need to be 111.55. There we go. Uh, we know we need to be down at 3,000 feet to catch the ILS at D8.7 DME. We know we have to be at 3,000 by this point. Uh, and our minimums today for the ILS is 386. Okay, so what we need to do now is fill out this approach page. Now, some people ask me, how do I find out all my information? Now, I'm just going to swap my screens over to display capture. One second. And I'm going to bring up my Discord. Now inside my Discord, uh, we have a meter bot. So I've already actually done it for this one here. So I can leave it here for a few seconds. I don't know if it will stay up once I click here. But basically, Q and H is 1018. Now this is real weather. So this will give you everything. If you're running on real weather in the sim, this is what you'll need. And it refreshes every kind of 10 minutes as well. So this is very good. We know that the wind will be 030 at 9, which we're going to put into here. The ground temperature currently is at zero, so it's pretty cold down there today. And we know that our minimums was uh, 386 from the chart. So we're going to start filling in all that information. Okay, so really you should have this before you start descending, but obviously uh, we're just hitting top of descent now. So I'm just going to put it into manage mode to descend, okay? So the aircraft will now start descending. Uh, it's fine that this isn't done quite yet, but it should really be done kind of once you're in your cruise because this is such a short flight, we reach, we really didn't have a lot of time. So anyways, look, it's still fine. But look, let's put in all our details for our landing. So we know that the altimeter is 1018. Temperature on the ground was zero. Uh, winds were 030 slash, because you've got to put the slash in here, uh, at nine knots. So we've got a bit of wind down there. And our MDA minimums again was 386. Now we can go all the way back here and we can activate this now once we're ready. Uh, not just yet, no point putting in just yet as we're now descending. There we go, that's where I get all my information from which has been asked of me many times. What we can do, we can just change this now and put this to 1017 on both sides. So it's ready for once we get under around the 10,000 feet mark. Uh, so that is ready. Everything else is looking good. Uh, we're ready to activate the approach phase as well. So this will start bringing us down by the MACDU. So if there are restrictions or waypoints that you can see it's going to bring us down to flight level uh, 8,000 first. But it will automatically go all the way down to 3,000. Now the speed will automatically manage as well all the way down. But for me, no. I prefer taking over my own speeds. Uh, and for this tutorial, because I can slow us down a lot more so I can talk a bit you know, a bit more in time, I will be controlling my own speeds. But if you leave it in managed speed mode, it will bring you in for the approach speeds that the MacDo has uh, calculated. Now, you can fully ILS land this thing. So it can automatically land the whole aircraft all the way down if you wish. You don't actually have to touch a thing. Uh, I generally take over about 1,000 feet out. But for today's tutorial, we'll take over about 500 feet out, just for you guys, just to show you. But what you should start doing is take over like three, 400 feet out and start moving yourself back once you get more comfortable. I find the further back I am, the more time I have to make corrections. If you're a little bit short out and you accidentally heavy hit anything, uh, it's very hard to recover with the time that you have left. Now, normally if you take over around 400 feet, there should be no, we shouldn't have to do anything to the aircraft really. We just have to just make sure we're stabilized and we're going on the right path. Now, if we go back to the chart, a few other bits of information. If we do have to do a missed approach or anything like circle to landing, I won't go into chart reading too much into this one. Um, but basically, 
we're doing a direct approach, so we're going to come across here and straight in EGCC. 111.55 should be our nav. If I just click on the nav quickly, we've got 111.15 in here. The course is not in there. Uh, 052, we can put that in. 052 would be our course. There we go. And that should be our radio navigation sorted out. So you just make sure that this frequency matches up to the chart. We are landing at 05 right. Okay, 05 right. Go back to the performance page. Again, so activate approach. Our approach phase is ready. So we can activate. I don't really activate until we're a bit further down into the approach. Uh, currently, look, we're still dropping here. And it's not looking too bad. What we will do is start thinking about activating it just when we get a little bit lower. Uh, because the speeds do need to come down under 10,000 feet you have to be under the 250 mark okay so that's kind of where you're going to go with this if you activate too early the problem you will have it will slow you down just a little bit too much too fast we don't need to slow down that much just yet everything is looking uh, okay you can see there is manchester airport so we're literally going a direct approach in here okay uh, everything else is looking pretty good Okay, what we will do, uh, now that we're just hitting under the 13,000 mark, I'm going to activate the approach and confirm. Now you're going to see that this is all changed. And this is going to be doing some different things with your speeds, and this is going to automatically start bringing you down, etc. All the correct speeds for where we should be at as we're making our descent. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually go to the two dots and override our speed. I know that we need to be under 250. Um, and we, do, we have a very short approach here, so I, I like to manage my own speeds generally anyways. I'll bring us down to 240. So this is going to level us off here now until we're brought down to the correct speed. We can speed that up. We could arm the, the speed brakes here. And by doing so, you can see now that we're, we're bringing it down a lot faster. Because uh, once we get down, it will not descend again until you're at the speed. There's no such rush, but... Just to make sure, you know, so look, once the speed brakes done their job, break back up for me. Under the 10,000 feet, the one thing we didn't do was actually activate the landing lights there. Make sure your landing lights activate under the 10,000 feet. Once you start getting there, look, we're just about to fall under it. About 10,9, okay, so it really dropped a little bit more. And you can see the plane is descending. Or to do look, it's going to have us down at 3,000 at the correct points. So you don't have to worry that it's kind of stalled and stopped. Don't start panicking. It is calculating everything towards this flight plan. So if we have a look, currently this is where we should be 10.07. Then by day, uh, we'll be at flight level 8. And then by the time we get to this point, CF05R, it'll be down at 3,000, ready to intersect our ILS. So don't panic. People start panicking at this point. Oh, we're not down, we're not down. The plane will step down. With the correct steps as you can see now it's now dropping to the next one and we're now descending again so our landing lights went on a little bit early because we stayed above the 10,000 i thought we were dropping a bit more um but yeah once you hit the under 10,000, make sure you do activate your lights everything is still looking good we want to keep the speed up until we start coming up to this point here because you got to remember there's still you know nearly 30 nautical miles from this point so we've still got a bit of time and you'll be coming in fairly slow and uh, we don't need to be doing that but again, once we've gone past the star here, which is the Dane, uh, we'll start configuring, start getting our flaps down, and start bringing our speed down just a little bit more. But all is looking pretty good at the moment. Okay, so we're now starting to hit this marker, and it's going to descend again down to our 3000, which we know it's going to do, uh, which is all well and good. I'm just going to bring our speed down a little bit at this point now as well. Down to 220, ready to start configuring for landing. Once we hit about this point here, we're going to start. We've got about 10 more nautical miles to go. We're going to do our full configuration. Okay, so now we are dropping below the 10,000. Uh, we can activate our Q&H now as well, which you can see there's going to be a bit of a change here. Um, but you make sure you do it on both sides. And we're now making our turn into our final... Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring ourselves down under 200. We're going to bring ourselves down to the 190 to start with. Now, this should drop fairly quickly. If not, again, we can just pull on a bit of air brakes. Don't be scared to use a bit of air brakes just to bring our speed down. It's because it's trying to descend in time as well, kind of fighting itself. 
Um, but that's it's okay. Look, we're still descending at the speed, and our speed is now declining, uh, which is perfect. Once we hit under the 220, which we have now, we will hit first stage of flaps. You can see the red dots now coming down, uh, which is going to help slow the aircraft down now as well. Okay, we're now going to just bring it down again. Next step down, we're going to bring it down to the 160 mark. Still got quite a bit of time out. But the ILS will come on us pretty quickly once we start making the turn. And again, you can see the next for the slats. We know that then at this point, 190-ish. Uh, we will be dropping the second stage of flaps. Air brake is still currently out, still descending at the correct rate. Again, we're going to just as we go past the slats. There we go. Next one is kicked in. Uh, what we can do is just take out that air brake a little bit now. Got two stages of flaps. We're descending nicely, and uh, yeah be dropping down to the 160 it's going to slowly bring us down unless we do something else about it okay landing lights are set we're going to set auto brake to medium for landing uh, so we've got to make sure that is set depending on your runway you could do low if it's a long runway which we probably could do here medium is pretty fine to be honest um just going to bring out these uh boilers out a little bit more i am going to bring us down now to our landing rate which was one Three nine. Now this Airbus will land anywhere between 139 142 depending on winds. Obviously if it's high wind, strong winds, you do want to land with a little bit more speed to help control the aircraft. Um, this will also tell you, again, if you don't touch this, this will bring you down with speeds within the right steps. As you can see here, currently it would still be quite fast. Uh, like I said, I'm bringing you in quite slow here. 207, 181. 137 so it would automatically start bringing you down in the correct speeds at the correct time okay next two stages of flaps we're now flaps full we're now at our landing rate we've got a bit of time again like i said we're doing this so we have plenty of time so i can talk you through it and uh, it's completely fine to be a little bit early as well don't be scared to be down Again, it won't bring us down to the correct point, but just don't be scared to bring your speed and stuff under control. Unless you're on VATSIM stuff and you know you've got a bit more pressure to land, but obviously that's not what this tutorial is about. If any of you are watching this, I assume you're learning the processes. Okay, so by the time you're at the ILS point, so by the time you get to the point on the chart here of D8.7 DME, you have to be at full configuration. That's flaps, speed, wheels everything needs to be at full configuration by this start that is when you intercept the glide slope okay so you have to be at full configuration by this point you can see our aircraft is now coming in it will it'll do a little loop up here and back in and around we can now also click on our ILS button and you can see now you can see it's brought up a little pink dot here uh, it's not going to do too much because we're not in the vicinity of the airport yet it will wait until we do the turn and you're going to see some pink diamonds appear on the screen so we'll just go over the configuration here for landing. Auto brakes are set to medium. Uh, we're going to arm the speed spoilers. Flaps are at full. We are doing a full flaps landing. If you're doing a flaps three landing, uh, which you can do, which means you can come in a little bit faster. Um, completely up to you. But I tend to do the full configuration, to be honest with you. Okay, so down 1017. We're down to the 3000 mark pretty much now as we make our turn. Our ILS is turned on. Uh, hopefully it's all going to connect nicely for us. So the aircraft is now making its turn. I am going to bring down the landing gear.
all nicely set. Okay, so I had the wrong frequency in there, it was 5.5, I didn't double check it properly, 1.1.55, you can see now the pink diamonds have appeared. Now this one is coming pretty low here, we're going to hit the approach button. So what that's going to do is once this diamond here now comes under this point here, the, the plane is automatically going to descend itself. Now obviously I told you to check that, I didn't check it myself, 1.1.55, I noticed that the pink diamonds didn't appear. Um, very misleading when you see 111.15 um, yeah make sure you always double check that but as you can see it's still enough time and you can see now the plane is descending itself you see the second pink diamond now is starting to line up basically these two pink diamonds will need to be at these two yellow dots 2500 okay so you can now see that it's lining itself up with 2500 runway is in sight this is the runway I assume that we're going to be coming down on so the plane okay as I was saying uh, so yeah so look the plane is now going to come in we can see here 2,000 feet you need to leave the auto throttle on. The auto throttle will control the 140, 139 whatever you're coming in at. Uh, okay. Us is 139. It's not too windy today uh, you know, we'll bring it 138, we'll drop it down a little bit. All we will do is take off AP1, and then that means we will have control. But the plane will still keep its speed, okay? So we don't have to manage the speed. It makes life a lot easier. You could disengage both, but it means you're giving yourself a lot of work in the cockpit here. So very quick check, flaps full, uh, speed brake armed, lights are set, auto brake is set. We are now good for landing, guys. Um, we're going to just leave the mouse over the AP1 because we will take over. You know, it's a nice calm day. Today I would probably take over now and I'd follow the glide slope in. All you need to do is keep on this pink diamond yourself. So they will stay there even if we take over. And that will bring you in on the glide slope at the right way as well. And keep an eye on your flight director. But if this is your first time landing or, you know, you're just learning, let it bring yourself in. Even the first time, watch it come in. We're going to hear some call outs. Once you start hearing 50... 40, 30, retard, retard. Now, by around that 30 point, we need to retract the engines to idle, okay? So leave your auto throttles on, but we will move the auto throttle to idle. Once the wheels touch down, reverse thrust goes on, full reverses. 1,000. Okay, 1,000. Now, Beth would be a good time to take over. Um, but like I said, I'm going to bring it in a little bit more just for you guys so you can see. But this would actually bring us in. We've got two red, two white, which means we're completely perfect on the glide slope. Um, it all kind of starts happening a bit faster now. So like I said before, take over when you're comfortable. You know, start bringing yourself further and further out and you'll start learning it a little bit more. Okay, so we're 700. Okay, I'm now going to take control. I have control. You're going to get your master caution. And I am now control the aircraft. At this point, there's not too much you have to do. Just make sure you're staying on that pink diamond. Keep the two red, two white, and we know that everything is going to be okay. Again, all the throttles are staying on. We're not touching the throttles until we start hearing 30. That's what we want. So I've, I've got control. Just keeping an eye on it. 400. 400, check. 300. Coming in nicely here. 200. One hundred. Under check. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Idle engines. Twenty. Let the aircraft. Five. And down nicely. Reverses toggled. Four reverses. Under eighty knots. 
Reverses on toggle. And uh, we could start manually braking, uh, but we are coming up to the taxi point here. We can start retracting all our flaps, which we can do here now. And we're just using the manual brakes to move in and across here. Now once you get to the line off the runway, we do have a few things to do. If you're using any kind of ATC, you might be looking for where you're taxiing, etc. Okay, so we're going to go to the above panel. And basically you'll turn off your landing lights at this point. Your strobe light will come off at this point and we'll turn on our taxi lights again. And then we're going to now start making our taxi. Now Manchester's a pretty big airport. Uh, we're just going to literally, t I'm not looked at any charts or anything. We're literally just going to start taxiing to the nearest uh, airport, really. Nearest taxiway, sorry, not airport. But in my books, good landing. Might have floated a little bit. Don't be scared to float your first few, you know, people always talk about floating being bad and stuff. Yeah, look, within reason, sometimes in bad weather, you may have to float a bit more. Sorry, my speed was a little bit out of control. Um, you know, don't be scared to do these kind of things while you're practicing. And look, you will make mistakes. Some some landings don't always go to plan. If any of you ever watch any of my live streams, um, you know, I, I fall under that umbrella quite a lot. It doesn't always go the way you want it to go. Uh, but don't panic just keep going don't put too much pressure on yourselves um, and just practice 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 you could do touch and goes there at that point i could have taken straight back off done a loop of the airport and uh you know and you can do that 10 times in a row or so and you'll get the feel for the aircraft i find that the further out you are the more control you'll start learning to get and i find it easier for the landing i actually find taking over a little bit less it gives you just less time to make corrections if things start going wrong and stuff um, for me, I just don't like that. I like taking out quite far out. Now, the, the, the times that you won't is if you're on really, really bad weather. Of course, that's what the ILS system is for, is to help bring aircraft in no matter what the weather is. Um, but of course, if you reach your minimums point and you do not see that runway, you have to do a go around. So don't forget that. Very important. Um, but of course, we had a nice clear day today, uh, which is really, really nice coming in here to Manchester. A few things to think about. Hopefully, I uh, explained it okay. You know, it's kind of hard when you're flying and trying to talk and explain everything that you're doing. Um, if any of you guys need any help, please come join the Discord. We've got some real life pilots in there that are very helpful as well. Um, of course, a lot of other people that have been flight sim for a long time. Uh, my VA, Simply Connect, which is what we're in delivery of today, as you can see on the outside. If any of you want to come join Simply Connect, you're more than welcome. Uh, the link's in the description down below. Come join the Discord. Just ping me and we'll help you get set up. Um, but check out the website, sign up, and come fly with us. Why not? Okay, at this point, you know, you do your obvious park and brake on, engines off, etc. And all looking pretty good. Okay, so look, we may as well have a quick look at the replay. How was my landing? We all like to see a replay. Okay, so we're literally just coming in here. We're going to see now how much of a floater I did. Here we go. You need to try and get down by the markers, the touchdown markers. Obviously, we've gone past them a little bit. A little high. It's okay. Long runway. There we go. Look at that. Burst is out. Spoilers are out. All looking pretty nice. One more angle. I'll beat a nice wing angle. Start seeing that runway. Yeah. Yeah, so look, my, mine floated a little bit. Could come down a little bit sooner, but you know, walking and doing it, it's not always easy. But don't panic. Like I said, these kind of runways, big runways, use the runway. Don't don't be scared. We had loads of time. It all come up nicely there. Look at that. Nice landing, I think, guys. Landing rate was minus two hundred, so you know, it was a pretty average landing.
there we have it guys um hopefully you've enjoyed that please subscribe down to the channel hit that like button come join us on the discord come join us on the live streams come join us on the va and other than that for myself guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now